Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Don't Hug Me I'm Scared reaction video here. Uh, to answer, I assume, one of the main questions right now of why I'm wearing a Christmas jumper in not even October. Uh, you know, you can thank the comments for that because the amount of comments I've got saying I sound like red guy, I thought, okay, <laughs> what do I have that's red I can wear? And the reddest thing I own is a Christmas jumper, so here you go. It's also quite cold, actually, so this is it's actually probably quite a nice attire. So yeah, that's why I'm wearing a Christmas jumper in not even October. Jesus Christ. Uh, but welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared reaction video here. Ready for episode 5, the penultimate episode. We're four episodes through, majority of the way through. Oh god, we learned about jobs, learned about what comes after work, death. Uh, we learned about what it means to be a family and what it means... You know, what friendship truly means. All that good stuff. And now we're going to learn about transport. I don't have a witty way to try and connect that to the previous ones. Uh, you know, you learn about what friendship means and then you need transport to go see your friends. That's all I got. <laughs> oh god, I'm going to stop rambling on. Because this is actually quite a heavy jumper for some reason. Uh, and so without further ado, let's just jump into it. And let's jump into episode 5 of Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. And let's learn about transport. I'm the one who had a dream. There were things that they had around, and it went away. Jesus. <laughs> okay, yellow guy. Gave me the chills a little bit there. That got that got very dark. <laughs> just just talking about last episode. Last episode did get a bit dark, didn't it, towards the end? So, fair enough. I'm glad you're dealing with it. I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, probably best. Well, about transport, get out of the house, you know. <laughs> Try and, you know, get other thoughts on your mind and move on from that a, a little bit, perhaps. Hmm. Oh, one dead fly. What? <laughs> That's the, oh god. Am I going crazy? That's the start of episode one of the YouTube series Creativity, isn't it? The fly flying around lands on the other guy's eye, onto the table. Smashed by duck. I mean, instead of saying, you know, pesky bee, like always, one dead fly. He's right. Wow. Ducks evolving. A scary thought. What are you doing? I'm doing my visual inventory. On the clipboard. Another dead fly. Doesn't get much better than this. Honestly true. That's peak excitement. When I find, like, an extra dead fly on top of my already large collection of dead flies, it's just... That's the peak of my day. There's no going up. That's that's the that's the tippity tippity top. One tile, guys. One wait, tile. Hold on. We... One tile. Look, the floor should just be one thing. Just put it down as one floor. True. <laughs> if you're going tile by tile, we're gonna be here a while, and we'll go tile by tile. There's, there's got to be a better way, right? Just do however many tiles across, however many tiles across, you know, length and width, and then just like times them together. Or you could just go one tile, one tile, one tile, and then add them all up. I guess that's a method, duck. <laughs> well, I say put the clipboard in the bin, because I hate the clipboard. Ah! Oh my god, red guy. <laughs> Calm down, mate. Jesus. <laughs> the other guy just wants a touch, and red guy says, toss it in the bin. I hate the clipboard. Made the clipboard sad. Duck and yellow guy are screaming in shock. Oh my god. This early in the morning, red guy. Don't bring the vibe down like that. Come on. What did you say? I hate the clipboard and I hate this place. <gasps> Please don't have said that. You don't mean that. Red guy is a, he's in a slammy mood in this new series, isn't he? He's shouting a lot more. He's always banging on his on, on something, the table usually. He's he's his attitude is spikes up, hasn't it? You know, the other guy Dutch trying to say you don't mean it. He's just he's going for a rebellious phase. He probably doesn't, you know. But this is. I'd like to go somewhere else. What? Hello. Where do you want to go? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Red guy just trying to get out of there a little bit of alone time, but they're always uh, yellow guy and duck are always they're always watching, <laughs> always following. They're the gang. 
they're together a threesome. You know what? It's the three of us. That's a better way of saying it, rather than a threesome. All we do is sit around and then some guy comes and tells us about banks or vegetables. Don't you want to see something different? Huh? Oh my god. <laughs> Red guy. Pointing out, yeah, that's what happens, you know. They sit around, then someone shows up and tells them about something. Uh, and, th and that causes an earthquake, apparently, so fair enough. <laughs> As usual, you know. That's what happens when you question the system, you know. You question the matrix, and then an earthquake happens. That's the usual chain of events in life. <laughs> that, was a, that was a lot of shaking for a... A very small train <laughs> coming out of the fireplace. <laughs> oh, little Thomas the Tank Engine looking dude. Absolutely destroyed this living room. <laughs> oh, right. This kind of thing. Oh, yeah. One of these guys. What? What is this? A toy person? <laughs> Ow. Duck and yellow guy. You know, realising, oh, this is what you mean. These people who show up and, oh, okay, yeah, we get it now. Uh, and then the train just runs over Red Guy's foot. <laughs> Ow, considering the noise he was making, that probably hurts a lot. He said he hates this place. And he hates the clipboard, what? and he hates me. Thanks. What's this now? I have to speak into my good ear. <laughs> They're trying to explain things, but you know, this train's an old, old train. <laughs> speaking to my good ear. Which one's your good ear? Where is your ear? <laughs> you do not have an ear, you're a train. <laughs> What do you mean? Which one's your good ear? I don't know about that. I'm a train! Ow. Which one's your good ear? I don't know about what you're talking about. I have a train smashing him in the face. Oh, God. That was, and that was right into his weirdly demonic teeth that I don't want to have to think about too much. <laughs> that was straight to him. Knock a few of them. Knock all of them out. So I feel bad saying knock anyone's teeth out, but I, don't want to, I never want to see him again, actually. So, maybe... What's How about we take a trip? Where are we going? I just need to have a quick drink. What's that? <laughs> I mean, you're old, so yeah. Fair enough, you probably should be drinking. I don't know if you should be drinking piping hot, whatever that is, but you are a train, so... I guess you could be forgiven for that. It smells like poison. Is my very special, very warm drink. You're leaking quite a lot onto the floor. <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh, Grace, pee in the floor. <laughs> Continuing the theme of this season of peeing yourself, you know, I think that's three out of five episodes. It's going to be a weird sentence about to say, unless I missed any more incidents of peeing yourself. <laughs> oh my god. Helps in my condition. You'd like three tickets, please? Go. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He cough, cough slash sneezed on that. Can I, have a, can I have a different ticket, please, Mr. Old Train? Please. Does this mean we Tickets, please. Thank you. Thank you. What's this stuff on it? You did that. No, I didn't. Oh, poor old train. Maybe you should retire, mate, you know? <laughs> oh, God. You wouldn't want a ticket with that stuff on it, though, so probably... You know, I mean, that's fair enough, but... You did do it. <laughs> You can take a few steps with your legs, but you won't get very far. I think they'd get a lot farther than travelling and taking a few steps on your legs, though. Because, Jesus, this is a slow process, isn't it? How did we get here? Good question. They found a wheel and they put it all together as a vehicle. Oh, the history of transport from... His license, says, his license plate as a car said Leslie. So let's call him Leslie. Uh, Leslie going over the history of transport. So thank you for that. Very informative. Where does this go? We're all having such fun for transport. Oh, oh my God, Aunt Leslie. <laughs> you should probably get that checked out. Where does this go? I do not know. <laughs> but yeah, Leslie, you should probably get that. Missing arm checked out, mate. Maybe cut the transport song a little short. I'm sure they'd understand. Hmm. What's that one? Just a rock. Not transport. You don't want it? I can have it. What are you going to do with a That's rock? That's my business. <laughs> Leslie looked like he was he was drowning a little bit there for a minute as a submarine. Uh, but Duck got his rock. God knows what he's going to do with it. I shouldn't be asking. That's his business. That's private business. I'm sorry, Duck. Are you sure you're okay? Maybe we should have a sit down. 
No, no, don't sit down. Can't you stop morphing? Okay, he's dying. Uh, uh <laughs> he is he is dying a little bit. Leslie here, isn't he? <laughs> Poor old guy. Uh and uh, whilst dying, he made an incredibly beautiful creature there for half a second. It was the front half and the like body of a horse. It had a tank on top and a big back wheel. That was a beautiful creature. We should make those and send them into war. They'd I think they'd get the job done pretty well, to be honest. Morphing. 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 Just keep going. He's he's fine. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> Leslie doesn't look fine. I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> he got a bit. He, got, he he went into goblin mode for a little bit, <laughs> which isn't the epitome of fine in my opinion. But uh, Jesus, Leslie, we you just have a sit down, please, please, Leslie, have a sit. Well, he's dead. Great. Now we have a dead Leslie in our living room. <laughs> and he didn't even shrink. Well, it's probably a good thing he didn't shrink before he died, considering you're inside him. But... Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> Sorry. What? No, he's, no, he's not. He's fine. Look, come on, Mr. Transport. Come so on. So that's that one. Didn't understand any of it, but still, it was a laugh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Didn't understand any of it. I understood a lot of it, but at the same time, you know. He was actively dying throughout the process, so maybe understandable his head wasn't all right. Red guy is dead. You'd have to accept that one, I think. <laughs> Leslie, you yeah, know, I think it was about his time, we'd agree. We didn't even go anywhere. Let's get out of this disgusting corpse, shall we? I need to finish my visual inventory. I mean, red guy, I feel like you're going to argue. Even if you don't, you know, from one red guy to another, even if you don't want to do the visual inventory, it is probably a good idea to get out of the corpse. <laughs> Just on principle alone. I don't like to stay in my corpses too long, you know. It's, I, I can't, wouldn't recommend, okay. It gets a bit ugh in there after a few minutes, hours. We should do some transport of our own. Why? Because it'll be fun. Maybe we'll see something else. Another rock? Yeah, maybe. That's how you convince Duck, isn't it? <laughs> maybe we could see something else. <gasps> Another rock? Maybe. That's how you get him. He loves that rock. <sighs> loves his rock. Oh. Maybe something better. No. <laughs> the other guy just no. That was the town from the Wakey Wakey, wasn't it? Clay Hill. There you go. I remembered it. Was it? I think so. <laughs> I think that's. I think that's it. Red Hill just wanted to get out of here, you know. A lot is going on in his defence. We don't have the transport, man. We can't just do stuff, us three. Why not? Here we go. Lesson 40. Reverse parallel parking on an incline. You're starting with a wrong lesson there, Red Guy. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's lesson number 40, so obviously you've missed the early 39 stamps. I don't know if... Of all the places, you know, you can say, right, I'll just... I'll skip a few, I'll jump right in here. I don't know if reverse parallel parking on an incline is the exact place to jump right in. How about this one? Lesson 92. Dominating the road. Handbrake turns no. around tight corners at high speed are a great way to impress what? new colleagues. No! <laughs> Oh god, I'd love to see this. In I'd like to see all these tapes. This sounds an interesting learner's manual. <laughs> episode, no no episode 92, we get to dominating the road. Handbrake turning around corners, impressing your colleagues. <laughs> sounds great. Lesson 1. Yes. First things first, pick out a name for your personalised license plate. Nothing at all, it's a DJ bin bag. That's what I'm thinking you're getting! Oh my god. <laughs> that is the first part, isn't it? Before you can learn to drive, your car needs a personalised license plate. But not DJ Bim Bag, where the eyes are one. God, I've already forgotten what he said. He was, he was ranting a bit there. <laughs> but no DJ Bim Bag, no variation, okay? Don't even try it. That was he, he's getting that. So don't. I know you were, so don't. It's useless. I told you, you shouldn't try and do something mm. without a little thing telling you how to do it. Come on. Green is for go. <laughs> um, I feel like we should be a bit more concerned about him releasing the sn a snake into the house, but let's just have our martini and ignore it, I guess. That seems like, that seems like maybe the best course of action. Hey, look, I can see our TV! We are driving a corpse. I, I don't want to be the one to point that out, but we are driving the corpse of Leslie. <laughs> um, and we did smash through our house. Yeah, broke our TV. This is uh, a... <laughs> I 
Things aren't going the best. What's happening? The sky is rewinding. It's so hard to look at. Stop it. Be still. Sky is rewinding. Stop. Be still. Duck. Not fully on board with the concept of motion. Yeah, but he'll get there. He'll get there. Duck's a, Duck's a smart guy. Where are we going? I don't know. Anywhere. There's plenty of places we can go. Look at all these roads. Oh, hey there. You look a little lost. Let's get you home, shall we? It's, uh, let's go with Sally the Satnav. Uh, he's just trying to get them home. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. Sally the Satnav has been in Leslie her whole life, and Leslie's dead now, so... Maybe best to say, let's let's just get you home, shall we? We're actually looking to go somewhere new. Where are you thinking? I don't know. What about just down here? Come on, I'm sorry. That place doesn't exist anymore. Well, what happened to it? Shriveled up, I reckon. Well, I guess they're not going to Clay Hill. <laughs> it just shriveled up, I reckon. Uh, R.I.P. Clay here. Clay Hill. And um, Mayor Pig. R.I.P. Rest. Rest well. That damn key finally won, didn't he? Can't you suggest somewhere? How about new? Shelford Parkway? It has a fungus museum and a new prison. Chick Hempsford, famous for its dead horse. <laughs> the big tourist spots. You can go to see the fungus museum next to the brand new prison. Or you can go check out the dead horse 30 miles west of here. Those are the options, really. Her. Look, we're not going home. We're going somewhere else. Hold on, you're making a mistake. What about Chick, Chick, Chick? You should just go home. Go home. Dead horse. Are you meant to do that? I don't know who it is. Red guy did just kill Sally the Satnav. You know, ripped her legs off and then tossed her out the window. So, yeah, yellow guy, I'm not entirely sure that you are meant to do that, actually. Good question. Fair question there. This is great. We're going somewhere new for a change, isn't it? Exciting? Look at me. Look how excited I'm getting. The scary part is, he, that is probably his excited face if he moved his strings covering his mouth i really don't want him to do that so i'll just take his word for it that he's very excited well it's better than whatever we'd be doing at home Hi, drink this space alcohol and come with they're not here oh damn it red guy <laughs> the time child seemed like a great laugh there giving us alcohol to go to the sixth dimension damn you and was bringing funky beats with him come on red guy you're letting us up a red guys down, come on. Don't be like that. We're going fast, we're going forward on our way to a brand new place and we like having fun. Lovely song, you know. I'm glad you're all in the mood and vibing with the journey. Yellow guy though, please get off the roof. <laughs> please, can everyone stop exiting the vehicle? Play with the circle, or play with the stick Play with the shapes in the cupboard that burn I put up some posters, customise my area. Oh my god. <laughs> Ducks put up some posters, customising, you know, his favourite things. Soccer, the shredder, a mountain, him in sunglasses, two cool looking ducks, duck bond, and him winning a race. Winning a competition. He actually did do that. The other guy's playing with the playing with the engine and Red Guy has a basic concept of driving, playing with the circle and the stick. They're, uh, they're in the spirit of it, we'll say that at the very least. It's a long drive, we go, my. We can get to know each other. I found this guy in the road. Oh, please don't. <laughs> Kick him out of the car, please. Red Guy, also, I'm glad you got back to the front, but I really wish it wasn't to let this guy into the car. <laughs> what? No. no, get him out. Get him out! <laughs> oh. Now, usually, you know, when you did that to let Sally do Satnav earlier, I wasn't happy. You know, I said so. But I'm really glad you did it, that guy. <laughs> I didn't like that guy. <laughs> you probably shouldn't, you know, yellow guy, just pick up random guys. I don't know how you got him in if no one noticed. But yeah, thank you for that one, red guy. I'm bored. How are you bored? Yeah. We're just sitting here. What about your visual inventory? Just tree, cloud, rock. Ooh, rock. Duck wasn't vibing with it, but then he saw big rock and, you know. Oof. He'd lose his mind if he watched, like, Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. Or if he, if he watched, like, if he watched the WWE show from, like, you know, late 90s, early 2000s, he'd, he'd be popping off. Don't like my window. When I look out through it, it looks back in through me. Oh, God, that gave me a bit of a chill. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, that's, yeah, a very reflective window. <laughs> 
I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry, Yellow Guy. I didn't like that either, so I understand you. Here, have some entertainment. Ooh, a curtain. No, look. Wow, there's a lot of them. <laughs> they can activate the cinema function. Fair enough. Fair enough, actually. Modern cars these days, they come with everything, don't they? They come with everything. So many. Can you jab less hard? No, you have to jab it hard or it won't respect your choices. <laughs> True. True. If you jab it just, you know, gen if you gently just push it, it won't respect you. You have to get a real jab in or it won't respect you. It won't respect you. They've got Grolton and Hovris. It's so hot. Look here, I packed some water. Oh. Hovris, this is my water. <laughs> there, Wallace and Gromit gets dark, doesn't it? <laughs> Gromit cannot speak, just growling. Leash on. Wallace over there taunting him. Oh, this is my water. You should have bought your own. <laughs> God. This version of Wallace and Gromit is going to open with Gromit eating Wallace. <laughs> it, it's got to. Raisins. Where did those hands come from? <laughs> that curtain is just to the back window. Where did those oddly human hands come from? I, I don't think I want to be in Leslie anymore. <laughs> when we get to our new place, we'll each have our own house with our own huh? stuff. Come well, we're not going to live together. Well, we won't need to. We'll be part of community. Oh, Red Guy really just wants to get away from it, hasn't he? That's the main theme of these five episodes. Red Guy just trying to get away from these two. And they're heading to a new community. I'm trying to read it. Something way. All I can see at the moment is Oven Way, which is terrifying. Coven? Are they heading to vampires? Actually, that would make a lot of sense, isn't it? Because in the background you can see the village with the sun. And then in the foreground you can see a mountain blocking another village in darkness. Are they heading to vampires? <laughs> because hard luck if you are, lads. Look. It's gonna be a whole new oh. life for us. No more sitting around just counting the floor. Mulhoven. Sounds lovely. Not exactly the vampires I was hoping for, but, you know, it sounds alright, I guess. Here in Mulhoven, Newtown, there's no better place to wake up. There's Mrs. Grim Waldenfordson. God, what does is, what is this remind me of? Mulhoven's design, art style, the design of the people there. Uh, I'm looking at uh, Postman Pat, I think. Old Postman Pat. It's kind of giving me that vibe. Kind of old school Postman Pat. New in town, are you? Let's get you settled. A brand new home. Ooh, fancy. Even thrown in a house pet. <laughs> the other guy imagining. Lovely house. It's quite a nice house, actually. Yeah, fountain. Very fancy. With a pet duck dog. Half duck, half dog. You know, what every family needs. Here comes one of your neighbours. Look, next door are your other neighbours. Oh god, that gave me a bit of a chill as well. All of them just gathered, peering out the window, inside the house. The holy man's there, protecting the door from you. Duck! I notice also in one of the upper windows. Uh, I don't think you're going to be fully accepted in this community, yellow guy. Oh, well, that gave me a chill, them all staring like that. You'll get to know them all, won't you? They'd like to welcome you with a gift. Oh, it's a rat. The priest giving a welcoming gift of uh, a rat, or it looks more kind of like the rat of the sky, a pigeon. <laughs> Which, thank you so much, I feel so so welcomed into the community, Mr. Priest. Very Christian of you. Oh, careful. <laughs> careful now! Careful! <laughs> careful! Give me a heart attack. <laughs> this is giving me continual chills, oh my god. <laughs> The scream from the narrator lady. The car, it right into the camera. And then the dead pigeon smashing into the actual Leslie's window. Ugh. Oh, I don't, I don't want, I don't think I want to go to Mudhaven. No, thank you. Hey, what's going on? Right. I'll never know if Grolton made his appointment. Grolton always makes his appointment, and no matter what happens, they start the next episode back at home. Get a bit meta there, guys. Come on. <laughs> Get a bit meta for me. You know, and stop spoiling it, please. I haven't seen the latest episode of Grolton and Holvers. Come on, Red Guy. What's going on? Oh, I didn't like that either. Leslie's woken up. 
Leslie wasn't dead. Leslie was just sleeping, which actually is very old of him. Uh, <laughs> and now he's woke up, and I, oh, I did not like the steering wheel his eyes. Just in general, I just didn't like him. What the hell are you doing? Look, no, it's that pathetic vehicle person. Where are we? Oh, hi, yeah. We're just doing some transport, like you showed us. Yeah, we just, we just, yeah, we took your dead body. We borrowed it a bit, but it's just what you showed us. <laughs> and that blunders over. Is that disgusting person again? <laughs> Oh, duck. Where's my special drink? Um, we'll make you some more. What's in it? They just forged with the last remnants of the ancient ones. What do you say? Raisins? <laughs> Same thing, isn't it? Uh, first of all, yellow guy, you probably shouldn't have drunk that, but... <laughs> you know, it was forged deep, the earth, deep beneath the earth by the last remnants of the ancient ones. Christ, that sounds expensive. Are you sure you didn't just mean raisins, Leslie? Come on. Be, be, be a team player here. Here, have some raisins. Oh, no. Yum. Have some of my raisins too. Oh, no. great. There we go. All better now. Come on, guys. We're in a car. I don't think those were raisins. They didn't look like raisins. So, yellow guy. Were those twigs or were those... I'll go with handmade raisins. But not made by the hand, if you get what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> We're so close! I'm not going back into that house! I what? There's something... Oh my god, yellow guy's finally using the mouth toilet. Very well needed. The car's smoking up thanks to Leslie, you know, dying again. How rude of him. Red guy's having a breakdown. Duck wants to watch Golf and Hovis. And the world is glitching. Uh, the last thing we needed, honestly. The last thing we needed. <laughs> Oh god, they've glitched into the real world. They backroomed. <laughs> they backroomed through a, through a portal in time to another reality. Thankfully, they didn't end up in the backrooms, Jesus Christ. Uh, but into the real world, I don't like that. I don't like it when we go to the real world. It's a lot nicer here than in the family home from episode 3. But ugh, I, I still don't like it. <laughs> It's very like 28 days later, it's like a horror movie, you know? Just this desolate wasteland, a rubbish dump. <laughs> and this creature just standing there. Ugh. Ugh. Oh my god, they're burning him! <laughs> they're burning Leslie alive to stay warm! <laughs> Jesus Christ, there's a lot of things here. I don't know where to jump straight to Leslie, guys. Where are the neighbours? Somebody will turn up. One rock, one skull, one bit of filth. Okay, there's gonna be a lot of bits of filth. This is a rubbish dump. Uh, maybe a bit concerned about the skull. <laughs> but, uh, Duck just keeping himself occupied with his visual inventory. Fair enough. You may feel like you're alone, but no matter how much the wheels turn, the journey always ends up home. That gave me a chill. Oh my god. The other guy hearing the voice. And then the hand taking the car and sending it back home. Oh god, this is getting deep, man. It's too early for this. Moo, 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 says a cow. And that was the end of the episode. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. That, that was crazy. Leslie died. Leslie came back to life. We drove Leslie's dead body for a while. Uh, and then we hit the back rooms skip and we entered the real world. And we were stuck at the rubbish dump. And we burned Leslie alive. And then a mannequin-like hand from the heavens said the car always goes back home. So we're home now. Uh, and even if not, it's like Red Guy says anyway. Grolton and Hovris always get to the appointment. And they always get start back at home next episode. <laughs> oh my god, this show. This show, this gets weirder and weirder. So I can only imagine what's to come in the finale. But that is next time, and that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed and you're enjoying the series. Let me know down in the comments what are your thoughts on Don't Help Me, I'm Scared, because this show is mental. I uh, hope you've been enjoying it and you're enjoying these videos. Once again, you know, thank you for all the support. It's crazy. All the likes, subs, comments, views, love it. <laughs> love it and appreciate it. So thank you very much for that. Uh, and that's it for today. Hope you've enjoyed. Leave a like if you did enjoy this episode, this insane episode, and subscribe to see when the finale drops. And beyond that as well, 
Uh, leave a comment. Do you want me to react to the original Don't Hug Me I'm Scared episodes? I've seen them, so it won't be the same, but they are crazy, so I can if you want to. And also, I have a different video in mind that I won't share right now, but it's, it's stuck in my head, so maybe. That is it, though. I'll stop rambling. Hope you've enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe for more, and as always, I just want to say a very special thank you for watching. Thank you.